Hello everyone and welcome back to Why I'm Robert. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to loot Lundenberg liquors stealthily with using C4. And no, we won't be using a mask or a gun. All we're going to be using is a lockpick and some C4. And a quick shout out goes to this user who commented on one of my videos explaining how to do this guide. So without further ado, let's get this one started. Once we start this heist, what we're going to do is grab a duffel bag that has a lockpick and one C4 for right now. We're going to head over to the backside of the liquor store. And once we get past this dumpster, hang a right. Take out our lockpick and unlock this first door. After unlocking this door, we're gonna head inside, unlock the door to the utility room, and turn off the alarm. What we're gonna do next is head into the front of the liquor store. Once we hit to the front of the liquor store, we're gonna head inside, and we're gonna push these two civilians into the top right corner over here. You'll see why in a minute while we're doing this later. After we push these two civilians into this corner, what we're gonna do is go out the front of the liquor store, head back right down the alley, Going right behind this guard, take our duffel bag from earlier, head up these stairs, open the door to the security room, take our C4, and at the edge of this door, what we're gonna do is arm our bomb. And we're gonna run away. It will kill the guard. We'll take the phone, do the check in, jump out the window, drag the guard's body out the window, jump to this window, and grab the guard's body and drag it into here. Now the guard that comes to investigate will go up to the room, see that nothing's wrong, and head back to his post. The reason why we move those two civilians into the corner over here is because sometimes the splash damage from the C4 will take him out and alert the cops. Now all we gotta do is just grab our bag, jump through this window, grab the wine cellar key card off this table, head down these stairs, open up this door, leave our duffel bag right here, head into the alleyway here, turn off the security tags, Grab our duffel bag, head to the front of the liquor store, go to the wine cellar, take out our wine cellar key card and scan the vault, and the vault should open up. And since we've taken out the camera guy, we don't have to worry about any cameras in the vault area. And we can go in here and disable each of the lasers one by one. Starting off with door one, which is the blue switch. Door two is green, red. Door three is green, red, blue. Door four is green, yellow. Door five is easy, it's green. And door six is green, blue. And as you disable each one, we're gonna take our lock pick and unlock each door. Now door one is gonna be the only one you have to worry about because it has line of sight of the guard at the front door and he can spot us occasionally. So be careful when looting door one. Other than that, the, all the other doors shouldn't be a problem. And as your bags get full, you can do the one bag method to take them all back at the same time. Simply grab your first bag like normal, hit escape, let go of left click, hit escape again, and now you're holding it without holding left click. Grab the next bag like so, hit escape, let go of left click, hit escape again, and grab the next bag as well. After you have all the bags, just go over to this table and hop over it. It should all go into one bag and you can take it all back to the truck in one trip. Let go and everything explodes out of it and quickly just tap it to clear the bag. And we're gonna keep on doing this method until we have all the wine bottles out of the wine cellar. And after we loot all the wine from the wine cellar, our total take is $101,000 and we can end this heist right now. Or we can go to the front of the liquor store and we have these two giant walls. Along with these two giant walls, there's a couple of different wine bottles that can be missed. There's one on the side table over here, right next to this door. And there's one at the front desk here, right in front of the clerk. Now, if you're gonna loot the front of the liquor store, be a little bit careful, because if you hold the wine bottles too long in front of these guards, they'll get suspicious, get alerted, and alert the cops. A strategy you can use on the left side is just simply hiding behind the guard and tap loading it into your bag and simply take it all back to the truck. And then the right side of what I recommend doing is pushing the civilian away so you don't accidentally zip tie him and ruin your progress. And then what you're simply gonna do with the rest of the wine bottles on the right side is just tap load into bags. And just like the wine cellar, when your bags get full, we're just gonna grab all the bags at once and we're gonna keep on doing that until we have all the wine bottles from the front half of the liquor store. And after we grab the last wine bottle, we can head back to the truck. And as you can see, I did not use my kit at all. I only use one C4 and my lock pick and we can end this heist. And we're ending this heist with $137,000. And we stealthily looted London Bird Liquors with only using C4 and a lockpick. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video.